If you want to be able to sell a bunch of different products with your WooCommerce powered website, this video is exactly for you. Hey guys, I'm John from IncomeMesh.com and if you are a photography person or if you make music and want to be able to sell a package of mp3 files or even software uh, this video is going to show you how you can take a bunch of different files package them up together and then sell them through a product on woocommerce for free okay let's go ahead and dive right in so the first thing is you want to have something to sell you want to have your actual products here so i'm going into one of my old picture albums and i've got some baby pictures here let's say you're a photographer and you want to be able to sell newborn photos this is one of my three kids on one of their newborn photos uh taken so all you have to do to package something up uh this is kind of just computers 101 for folks is select the different pictures here i'm going to hold down control and click on a few of them and i'll right click and i'll go down to let me get my face out of the way here i'll go down to send and let me make this all fit here for you come over here right click send to and there's a compressed zip folder option here and so this is going to zip them all up and make all those files a part of one folder so we'll call this newborn photos dot zip and i'll hit enter to save that folder okay so this is the thing we want to be able to sell now what you have to do is within your website i'm assuming you have a woocommerce installed if not i'll put a link in the description for a video that shows you step by step how to set up a woocommerce shop but once you have that set up you're going to want to go and actually upload that zip folder into your media library to allow people to purchase it so what we're going to do is go to media add new and this will open up the ability for you to drag and drop files and folders directly in here. So what I like to do, just to save myself a little bit of effort, is I'll just take the folder and drag it on and let go of it. And now you can see here, it's going to upload that zip file into my folder, into my media library. And it looks like those images were actually kind of large images. So if you don't need the full resolution, do what you need to do to compress it. I'll pause the video while this is uploading. Alrighty, so it looks like the product is about done uploading here. And so here we have in our media library, the final product is just a single file that is a zip folder that has more files inside of it, right? So what you want to do next is go ahead and just click on it. And then somewhere on this uh, right hand panel here, you'll see a copy link. And this is the direct link that's going to take people to that download to that zip folder. So the next thing you want to do is just take that entire link and copy it. And what we want to do is add that link into our product. So when people purchase our product, they can download the tool. All right. So they can download the, fo the folder. Excuse me. Okay. So we have that in there. The next thing you want to do is go into WooCommerce and let's add a new product. And we'll call this uh, Photos Photo Album. All right. And then as you go down to set up your product, you want this to be a simple product. It's going to be a virtual and this is important, it's gonna be a downloadable product because when you click on downloadable, it's gonna open up all this other cool stuff within the wizard where you can add the files in. So here we're gonna click on add files and we can just name this photo album or whatever you want to be uh, the thing to be called when they uh, go to download it. And then you put in the URL that we just copied from the other screen. And that's going, we'll, we'll show you what that looks like in just a second. You can also set up if you want them to only download it uh, once, twice, or a few times to try to protect from privacy or piracy. Uh, you can add a download limit. And also, if you only want them to be able to access it for 14 days after their purchase, again, to try to prevent people from sharing that link and going crazy with it. Then we'll add a price. Let's just, for now, let's make this a, a free product because, uh, you know, you can charge for it or whatever, whatever else you'd like to do. But this will allow us to download that zip file there. Okay, let's go ahead and... Let's just add one photo as the product image. We'll just make it this happy guy and a dog. And you can add your descriptions or anything else you would like to do. We'll publish the product. All right. And we'll go ahead and view the product as well. And I'll do this in an incognito window so we can see what a guest would see. So we'll go ahead and say add to cart. And we can view it. And now you can go to the checkout process. And let's just fill this in real quick and we'll place our order. Okay, so now the order has been placed 
And on our thank you page, we'll have the download area. And you can also see this inside of their account as well. And when you click on photo album, which is what we named it, you'll be given access, you'll be asked to save it somewhere. So let's go ahead and just save this in my downloads folder. And now the zip file, the zip, zip folder is there exactly where you told it to download. And you can extract it and all the photos you uploaded or and moved into your uh, area will be accessible to your customers. So that is a very quick tutorial on how you can use uh, zip folders or .rar, or any of those types of bundling uh, services and bundling file types to uh, sell products in bundle on WooCommerce for free. I'm John from IncomeMesh.com. If you enjoyed this tutorial, go ahead and click the like button and share this and leave a comment and all those good things. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Take care.